All right, this K. I'm about to go ahead and check on Pops. See how he's doing. So, and so this is the, you know, I wanted to show you guys earlier the emotion of a man, what a, what a man goes through emotionally. Now, I don't want you guys to um, think that I'm like, oh my God, he's down, he's so depressed. No, the exact opposite. Now, I, I'm having emotions. This is what, these, you know, um, this is the inside. This is the man emotions. And, uh, and the mental health, the state of a man. And what I want to tell men is this, where I am right now, it took a lot of trauma and tragedy for me and work. So I, I had to go through suffering to be able to endure um, things like this endure the suffering and and I had but I had to beat those things and uh, but I also want to show you that you you do hurt men hurt but I can hurt with a smile on my face but I still emotionally ugh, no matter who you are no matter how much money you have and the, I mean we think about how many men, rich men, high power fellows where they take their lives. And um poof, they have everything. You you think like why would you do this? You know, but I like the you know, I have people in my life. I have I have my boy Purpose, I have my boy Kevin, I have my I have iron sharpeners. I have hammers, actually. And I've learned that as, you know, only one person can be sharpened and only one person can be the hammer. That's just how it works. And sometimes you need your boys to to be the, that, the hammer, the craftsman, and to sharpen you up. And it, it helps. It really does. So, right now, I'm getting ready to go in. Let's um, check on Pops because I want to show you, number one, it's, um, I have to be strong for him. And I want men to hear what I'm saying in this comment here. Right now, I have to be fortified. And women, listen, I have to be fortified for him so that he stays in a living mindset. Oh, man, that was some serious stuff I just said. I, I, wow. I have to be fortified for him so that he can stay in a living mindset. It's all about mindset. He was hurting. He's been in trauma for years. But his mindset. He had a strong mindset. His, his, his will. That joker has some will. So let's go check on um, daddy Yo. All right, I'm going to open up once I get there. All right, let's see. What's up, Cat Daddy? Oh. You straight? Yeah. You good? Yeah, sleeping. You sleeping? You, uh, you feeling a little bit better? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't want to run the block. So. You don't want to run around the block? No. You sure? Sure. <laughs> we, we can go for a race, though. No. Uh, okay, I bet you, uh, I bet you, uh, $15,000 you'll lose. <laughs> I'll use your walker. <laughs> All right, you need some water, anything? You no, mean, I don't want okay, you need to drink a little bit more, though. I don't. All right. All right. 
All right, so, all right, I'll be here. You hungry yet? Okay. All right, I'm gonna let you get some more rest. You straight? Yep. Okay. So, there you go. Um, this is, this is the leadership I didn't have before. I didn't, I couldn't control myself. I couldn't control the emotional background, the emotional baggage. I was dealing with so much inside of me that I wasn't able to help somebody else. And I've been so grateful. I mean, so truly blessed and promised. And, uh, and being able to take hold of that by taking off my mask, all the mask I was wearing and just being me. Now I can give life. I can crack jokes to a man that that's looking at the end of his life. And I can enjoy those moments. I can live those moments. And I can give them to you right now with no tears. But I think so. Enjoy these people while they're here. Believe that.